Welcome this year to Elsewhere, the mysterious southern province of the cat people of Tamriel, little seen in Elder Scrolls until now, the fan favorite Khajiiti folk. You're gonna love them. So for this year, for the Elder Scrolls Online, we're taking a new approach. We had, with uh, the province of Elsewhere and with the threat of the dragons, a story that's so big that it even transcends the chapter format. So we're going for a full year story, all four quarters, all tied into one epic saga that enables you to work with these great characters to save the Khajiit and the land of Elsewhere from these terrible threats. We've done stories that have stretched over multiple releases before, but this is the first time that we've concentrated a single theme into everything we're doing for the year. It's the Year of the Dragons, and it's just some amazing content that I can't wait for you guys to play. Dragons, those dread creatures from out of the past that have been hidden away for so long, but released to threaten elsewhere. Going to elsewhere gives us the opportunity to explore the legends and mythology of the Khajiit. Arguably, they're one of the oldest Elder Scrolls races, so we wanted to show that they've inhabited this place for a long time. And that, to me, was a really interesting thing to work on. You know, a lot of the architecture is built out of there, you know, the living rock of the zone. We like to draw on real-world cultural influences or real-world geographical influences for cultures that we work on in-game. Some of the areas we looked at were North Africa, West Africa and Yemen. Geologically, these areas were varied enough to give us enough variation for the zone, but they were also interesting enough to give us lots of cool geographical features. If you know anything about the Khajiit, you know that the moons of Tamriel, Joan and Jod, exert a tremendous metaphysical influence over both their form and their culture. We're going to be going a bit into the basis of that, and you're going to learn more about their relationship with the moons. Throughout the year, we're going to get to explore lots of different aspects of the Khajiiti culture. We're going to get to see how they rose from 16 different kingdoms to become the United Nation, or mostly United Nation, that they are today. Uh, the cat folk come in many different varieties, uh, and they have a lot of different uh, ways of looking at the world, and that means conflict. We're going to find out how they get to govern themselves but are still part of the uh, Old Mary Dominion and what that means. And uh, we're going to see some things that we haven't shown before. Possibly the different types of Khajiit that we've heard exist that we've never seen other than in books. All of these things mix and meld together in our new chapter of Elsewhere, providing a really fast-moving and deep but exciting series of stories about pulling this realm back together and reuniting the Khajiit so they can stand tall beside their allies in the Old Mary Dominion. I can't give away too much, but uh, there's, uh, there's a number of different things that are coming that uh, are going to shock and surprise you and hopefully delight you. Uh, let me tell you, we're really excited about uh, presenting Elsewhere to you, the players. Uh, we've shown little parts of it before with Canarthi's Roost and uh, uh, part of Reaper's March, but we've been thinking about this for a long time. It's been a long time coming. We're really excited about this, and we really want to see what you do with it. 